Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a new look going on, shaved off the old beard. We're getting some high temperatures now, so I wanted to be a little bit more comfortable while I'm working outside. Having a big old beard, making me sweat a lot. Now I look like a little kid. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, today's video is a uh, solution that I came up with for uh, uh, an issue that I pointed out in one of my other videos about the uh, the exposed pond liner uh, you know slowly deteriorating from the sun so I wanted to show you guys what I came up with and a uh, funny side note on that is uh, one of my best friends texted me with a with an idea of what I should do while I was building it and it was nearly the same exact thing so you know great minds think alike um, but yeah hope you guys are having good luck with all your gardening and all your projects so uh, without further ado we'll get to mine I'll show you what I did over here and walk you through it. Let me get this out of the way. A little makeshift shade for the eggplants for right now. It's so darn hot out here, I don't want to work outside. So what I did was I took some uh, some of the old 2x4s and I cut them. And you know, it, it doesn't look perfect or anything like that. I'm not a carpenter. I didn't go to school for carpentry or anything like that. Just kind of messing around with this stuff so I got the two by fours and what I did is I screwed them to the bed and then I took the uh, the trim that uh, one by two trim off of this bed and I cut it to fit and I, sl I slid the pieces underneath here and then I used a sharpie a black sharpie and I marked them and I did that all the way around before attaching them and then I unscrewed this and took the whole thing inside and put it together in there. So as you can see, it now covers all of the pond liner. None of it's exposed. And if I need to take it apart, it's as easy as this. I can just take it off. So you can see underneath here what it looks like. I tried to do the best I could with my abilities. Um, and then it just pops in like that. It's kind of a snug fit. You heard it snap in. And that's that. So now I just need to do the same thing over here to this guy. And we'll be rocking and rolling. We got a lot of corn popping up in here. The corn does not mind the heat at all. Look at that. It's like, bring it. So we'll see what happens with that stuff. I don't see any of the peas popping up yet. Which I don't mind that either because that means I'm going to have to get out here and build a... Uh, something for him to climb on and I don't want to do that it's too hot I'm whining I think it's 104 right now the high is 106 uh, but yep that's that and then uh, I guess while we're over here we'll check out some watermelons I got quite a few got one right there and another one right there and another one right there Another one right there. Uh, another one up there. Uh, there's another one right here. I'm gonna have to build little hammocks for these guys so they don't, uh, you know, get real fat and fall off. Yeah, there's probably about half a dozen of them in here, I'd say. So that's not too bad at all. Still don't have any squash or cantaloupe, but uh, that's all right. We still got time. And uh, peppers are all doing really good in here. Got some bell peppers. There's one right here hiding underneath. And of course these guys. I know you can't see them, but there's these little teeny tiny flies. And uh, they actually look like little tiny bees. I got a good look at one up close. And there's just tons of them all over in there doing their, doing their thing. And I got a little cutting from my uh, dragon fruit. This is for my friend Beaker. I know you're going to be watching this thinking, awesome! <laughs> I got this guy over here. I'm going to start training it up to this pole. I have a string around it right now because it was bent down really far here. And these are a binding cactus. Hooey! Alright, I am sweating up a storm here. Holy cow, it is hot out. I need to go back inside and cool off. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions or comments, post those down at the bottom. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and if you click the bell button next to subscribe, you'll get a notification each time I upload another video. If you're interested in following along with some of my builds and 
watching me screw some stuff up or maybe come up with some solutions for things and uh, you know some thinking outside the box and uh, doing things differently so thank you guys for tuning in and as always keep building